<gasps> Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to do a vlog because I actually haven't vlogged in like quite a few weeks. I've been doing planned out videos with like a meaning. Not that vlogs have no meaning, they're impactful, okay? But I wanted to just do like a daily vlog today because I had this idea of like starting to show you guys like things that, I don't know, that I really want to put into my day. Like things that are like making me feel like I have more meaning and more purpose and then just little habits that I feel like I'm trying to make habits. We're gonna just like see how this goes, but I feel like I've just been like going through it and I feel like it's this really weird time. We're in a super weird state of the world and I personally also happen to be going through a lot of personal growth so it's like usually you look back in hindsight and you realize like wow I grew so much in that period of time and like I was really going through it and I got to the other side and I feel like it's really weird consciously being aware that I'm going through it while I'm going through it so I'm trying to do things to just like make me feel good and grounded just kind of get through this super weird time so I figured I would daily vlog and maybe show you guys a few of those things it's monday which is great because i do like mondays because a my house is clean i get to start off the week strong i usually have therapy on monday nights and i don't tonight so i'm feeling crazy i start with like work and getting really really organized so i don't stress out throughout the rest of the day i go through like a lot of mail and packages just do like a little new version of a morning routine i've obviously been up for a few hours already and by a few i mean probably a couple tops i've been sleeping in a little bit more that morning routine I uploaded a few weeks ago yeah progress not perfection is that gonna be the new slogan of 2020 wow so I'm going through PR stuff deciding what I want to post on Instagram and then I also got a package that I ordered because I feel like I haven't really been online shopping and when I online shop I want to make sure I'm doing it really consciously I'm a having fun doing it and B feel good about it when the order is placed so I got my thread up package I'm wearing this wild fox sweater from my order right now I'm absolutely obsessed with wild fox loungewear and they have so much stuff on thread up so this video is sponsored by thread up which makes me really happy because I love working with them I shop with them all the time feels like you're hunting for treasure but there's so much treasure I remember placing the order and looking for stuff and I was just like I'm so excited to talk to them about this it was so much fun there's so much stuff you get to see all these amazing pieces and then you see how much they're marked down and you feel like you're just have hit the gold mine if you guys don't know what thread up is you must be living under a rock thread up is literally the largest online thrift store so I personally Personally, I'm not good at thrift shopping IRL like it gives me anxiety I don't like looking through all the racks and stuff so with thread up it's really really organized I put in my size and I can just shop through stuff that's available just for me so it kind of gets rid of that like really hard process of digging through things in real life but you're still getting those awesome thrifted pieces they literally add thousands of new items every single day so it's like you can always find something which for me it's like an addiction because I'm like constantly finding new stuff and just want to find the best pieces Pieces. They triple check everything for quality. It's super transparent. You know exactly what you're getting and every piece is honestly incredible. You can also filter by like brand and stuff. So I'll make sure to go through and just kind of like check everything in my size. Get some really good pieces that are just like basics. Like I got a lot of like white t-shirt. White tees from Lou and Gray was estimated retail price $36 and I got it for $12.99 on Thread Up. I also got this free people sweater that was estimated $148 retail and I got it for $42.99 on Thread Up. And this tank was estimated $30 and I got it for for $14.99. And of course, I found some amazing designer pieces. And those are like two of my favorite brands. And so getting them at a discounted price is just, mm. I got a bunch of just like these like little packages. I pretty much opened everything already because I was so excited. Comes like super cute wrapped. So you guys know that I've been loving wearing color over the summer. So everything I got is pretty much white because you guys know I love like jeans and a white t-shirt. And then I got a few colorful pieces. This one I thought was so cute because of like the style of it. I love stuff like this. That is like this super girly like flared. Like see how I'm shaking it? Like that's what I want to look like in it, you know? Vince pants. So this is like one of like the really good finds. So these are Vince, which is one of my favorite like designer brands. And they're just like these white trousers that are super, super cute. I can wear these to like brunch with Cameron's parents. I love adding white pieces in to my look. I also think it would look really cute with this Marc Jacobs sweater that I got from Thread Up. I absolutely love this because it reminds me of that trend of the buttons going slanted like that, that I've been seeing on Instagram a lot. So freaking cute. When I saw this, I was like, I need it. I don't even care how much it was. So freaking cute. 
cute. And I even got this really cute like J. Crew like handkerchief because kind of like a mask. Cute, right? So you guys can use my code Lauren E for 30% off. Already incredible prices. You will have so much fun shopping and just finding stuff. It's like you don't even have to splurge, but you get to get all these amazing pieces if you just want some stuff for kind of like back to school season, end of summer. You want to make sure you're kind of like shopping consciously. You know, you're buying secondhand clothes, but it's really great quality. I trust ThreadUp so much. So it's such an easy shopping experience. So you can use my code Lauren E for 30% off. I'll link every everything in the description box below because I love it so much. Whenever I get new clothes, I basically like hang them all in one spot so I don't forget that they exist. So I'm going to go put my new clothes away and I will see you guys in a second. So I've gotten so many questions about how I make the cold brew at home and I usually prep it like obviously not in the afternoon of a day where I need it. It's usually ready to go, but we're a little behind. We're going through it. I know a lot of you got the thing that I use and it's fabulous. I obviously don't have any like cold brew done to show you. Okay, so it's honestly really easy. I feel like it kind of goes on preference a little bit, but not really. You can buy like ground coffee. You don't have to buy coffee beans. Shh. Okay, so it looks like this. It's literally just from Target. On the thing, it says you only need like two scoops, like two tiny scoops of coffee grounds, but like no fill like the entire i would say like this much at the bottom like i do like a whole layer the way i measure it is it's usually two whole rounds of this i've been trying out different coffee beans so this one i really like so far because it's Stumptown, which is what alfred's used to be and it makes a lot of coffee like it lasts for like two days i would say if you drink like two cups a day like i do i also got this from target same brand oh no oh no oh no i pour it to the max line and then we just grinder up okay but what you want to do that's actually really important you don't want to fine grind it because it just like is not going to give you the best flavor and then you might also get some through the strainer so it's kind of like a medium fine grind so it's like some of it is small some of it is a little chunky and then i just literally take it directly from the grinder and then i'll do one more i'm really good at this <laughs> There's a hair in there. Nugget, are you eating a coffee bean? So it's literally just two of that. It's like a lot of coffee. I'll get a little insert shot for you guys so you can see. Hold on. Aesthetic is really important to me. You can see it's basically just up to here. That might be too much for you. It might be too little. I don't know, but that's the way Hudson and I think it tastes the best. And then I take a little bit of cinnamon. I learned this from one of you guys in my Instagram DMs. And I put it in the coffee grounds so that it just like makes the coffee cinnamon e without it like separating and stuff fill it up right to like here full of water cinnamon and coffee grounds you take the lid that's for storing and you literally just close it up close up shop in 12 to 24 hours i will put this on you don't want to be like Woo, let's mix it up you want to mix it up before you put it in the fridge and then 24 hours later stir it again let it sit for a second and put this on exactly like this and then slowly just press down obviously make my latte which is just this ice a splash of almond milk a little bit of uh french vanilla stevia this thing is honestly amazing i know there's like other options out there on the market but i feel like this one i really really like and it was like 12 dollars good for the environment good for my wallet good for my tummy maybe not the best thing for my anxiety but i digress so this is kind of just like the coffee station. The mason jar will go right here. I have the almond milk. And then I got, and I mentioned this on my podcast, like all these little kind of things from the home edit in the container store. And then I have like all my kombucha, all my soda. But it's really great because it's like you wash out the berries. Here, I'll show you. So these are like the clean ones for when I go grocery shopping. Wash out your berries and it has all the little holes for it and so the water doesn't stick to them and then you can just have fresh berries and you don't have to wash them every time you want to eat them and these are from the farmer's market yesterday so this is my breakfast this is kind of cute like a little like nook setup no yes maybe i don't know i told you guys i basically spend like majority of the day in this area it's just so comfy and i feel like i can be really productive but also like at ease at the same time it's really good for my back when i need to go like this put my leggings on because i'm going to try to get a workout in i feel like when i 
I just am kind of trying to get by as much as possible. It's like not laying in bed all day is such a win to then like do something extra physical is like even harder, even though I know it's good for me and I know it makes me feel better. So I've been trying to like go on more WALKs. I can't say that word because the dogs are over there. I do Pilates a couple times a week. I just try to like really listen to my body. And so I like felt it that I felt like doing physical activity. So I put leggings on really quick. I was like, okay, I'm no, I'm not going to work out right this second. One, because the dogs are literally being angels, but at least it's like a little bit there of, I feel like when the moment strikes again, I'm ready to go. So besides stuff like little habits like that of like eating fresher, like going to the grocery store, cooking more at home, making my own coffee, working out, going on walks. Other stuff that I've been doing is like really trying to fantasize about like what I really want in my life. And I feel like I've kind of always had this thought of just like things I want to make sure I add into my life. But then it's like life gets so crazy and it gets in the way. And all of a sudden a year has gone by and you haven't necessarily done all of those things. And obviously the world is super slow right now. So I basically last night decided to write down like feelings that I want and also things that I want to do. So what you can do is like literally just start making lists of like things you want to feel. Like you want to feel joy, you want to feel happiness, you want to feel peace. And I mentioned in my podcast, one of my mood boosters was getting these fresh notebooks that I showed you guys in a vlog. So I wrote down like, what do I really want? And then I wrote down just like a bunch of notes of like, I want genuine moments of peace and joy. I want to accept that I'm powerless, trust in God's plan, serenity, surrender, service, I want to always be acting of service to others, whether it's helping, volunteering, just helping people in my own life. I want to learn. I want to feel growth. I want to feel purpose and understanding. So I just kind of like put all of those in like the top feelings. And so it's just like a really good idea to almost like fantasize about your life, the form of feelings first. And then what I did after that to like kind of dive deeper, I wrote like a couple questions of like, okay, what do I want to learn slash dive into? And then what acts of service give me meaning and joy? I feel like it's because that's what I'm always kind of missing in my life that I feel like I don't have time for but I feel like is more and more becoming so important to me maybe it's because I didn't go to college that I have this really big energy within myself that I want to learn so much more right now it's not necessarily like I want to learn self-help stuff or like business stuff it's just genuinely I want to just be learning and like engaged in something I do have some free time and instead of just scrolling on social media I feel like I just genuinely want to be gaining knowledge instead of just passively scrolling on my phone. I just started reading more books that weren't just kind of thriller romance novels. And I live with my brother, like I said, and he's obviously in grad school. He's also a teacher. Just makes for these really, really like philosophical, intellectual conversations where we like talk very theoretically. And it just makes me realize that there's so much more I'm actually interested in that maybe I don't dive into as much. And I feel like you can never stop learning. You can always keep learning. I love fashion. I love beauty. I love all that stuff. But something that is also really, really important to me is feeling like I have meaning and purpose in my life. Something that's been, you know, taking up a different part of my days. I've been reading this book. It's kind of like a book club. Like my friend and my brother are both reading it. It's called Trick Mirror by Gia Talentino. And it's reflections on self delusion. It's a New York Times bestseller. It's kind of just like cultural criticism, like internet, all the stuff that like basically I do. And I don't know, I just find it really interesting. It definitely has a more feminist approach. It's definitely written by some like, like a young woman and I think she's an incredible writer and so it's just these nine essays and kind of like diving into this this is so boring basically I just think there's like so much knowledge and information out there and like we'd be silly to just passively scroll on our phones all the time instead of like learning and like diving into new things obviously you don't want to read all day long because then fun gets taken out of it and reading makes me really tired so like I had to take breaks and stuff but this is definitely something that like is going to help me figure out what I want to do dive even more into. And then once you figure that out, when you do go on your phone and stuff, it does reflect kind of what you're interested in. It doesn't become as passive. It has like a more meaningful curation as well. Please let me know if this is like so boring because I totally understand if it is. I also just might not be explaining it well, but I encourage you no matter like where you are at in your life right now to try and make that list because things are going to come up that you don't want. And then you can really look at what you do want and figure out like how the disconnect is so big or maybe even very small. That's my TED talk for today. <laughs> So now I'm just going to do a bunch of emails. I have so many emails. So I'm going to do all the work stuff that I need to do. I had a crazy exciting week last week. I'll give you one sneak peek. Ready? What? So things are happening. 
I got everything that I needed to get done, done. Also had a FaceTime break with Camerone. Nugget has been absolutely adorable. So now I'm going to go get some lunch. Woo! One good thing about wearing a mask, it covers up exactly where my acne is. No, the acne is not from the mask, I wish. Or the second thing that's really bad is that no one can see me smiling to them. And that is literally, and I'm not being a loser. I am a loser, but I'm not saying it because I'm a loser, is literally one of my favorite things is like making small talk and smiling at people. And now I feel like no one knows what my facial expression is and it's very sad. I literally always get the exact same smoothie from Erewhon. I've definitely vlogged it before. And then I got some stuff for dinner and I got a bunch of kombucha. There's a few things we need to address. One, I know it looks like I haven't showered, but I have, I just didn't wash my hair. Two, my brother's still playing video games. Three, I know my camera's on the tripod over there. It's because, I don't know. I get like this combination of like afternoon anxiety, which turns into e evening excitement. And so I'm feeling it right now, but the Lakers game is on. So Cameron is not gonna be making an appearance. And I really wanted to do a prank on him. I feel like I'm just gonna start like doing like pranks on him more where I'm just like recording and he doesn't know. And I just say something stupid and just like get his reaction, like not like real pranks. Might as well, might as well use him, right? So yeah, this is what like the nighttime routine looks like. We eat dinner a little bit later. And then I have like some journaling and some notebook. I'll light my candles, some notebooks, some, some journaling and some book books. And then there was my Melissa Wood health workout. I did the 29 minute yoga and Pilates flow, which was actually really hard. I love having her app on my TV, it's so great. For some vibiness while I do some journaling and some reading. And then I will probably, I will probably be going back. Oh my God, love him so much. Um, I will probably be going back to 90 Day Fiance, honestly. Don't forget to click the link in the description box to get 30% off your order at ThreadUp.